These young zebra fish are tiny. Describe them as being the size of an eyelash. So tiny, it may be hard to believe. They're teaching scientists a pretty big lesson, and it all starts with adding a scent to the water. The smell of chewed up fish. Yeah, the smell of chewed up fish. Margaret Mills says the fish should recognize the odor as the same they'd smell if a predator was attacking their group. This is the alarm cue. So this is if their if their sense of smell is working properly, then this is the smell that they should identify and want to run away from. But she's found that all depends on pollutants she's exposed the fish to beforehand. The chemicals disrupt the fish's ability to smell. This slide shows how bad it can be. The top shows fish with no chemical exposure and no added odor. So the fish are evenly dispersed. The second slide shows fish with no chemical exposure, but with that alarm cue scent, and the fish are swimming away from it to the left like they should. But the final slide shows the fish exposed to chemicals with the odor added, and it appears the fish don't recognize it at all. They're around an area that should signal danger. And this is important because once they lose their sense of smell, uh, they have an ability to detect and respond or avoid to predators. Uh, pick up uh, chemical cues associated with finding food, or in the case of salmon, uh, homing to their natal streams. Evan Gallagher heads much of the research, which is looking at everything from wastewater to flame retardants to drugs and stormwater runoff. This becomes important for salmon because they're already exposed to so many other pressures out there, such as urbanization, habitat loss, and now you add exposure to chemicals and maybe losing a some of their sense of smell can really impact the uh, the population. Gallagher says the research could help influence policy aimed at reducing pollutants that make it into Puget Sound. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.